So today we start off the next season and first up is a game against Red Star Belgrade. We've played some games in the league, it's been a bit of a mix but I feel like we're really progressing and getting somewhere. Roll the intro. No, I won't stop. Hello and welcome back to the folks in the Victor Save. I'm Cultured Leffer. It's a pleasure to have you with me. And, well, first off the bat, we've cancelled the deal to sell Pablo Diego. We're going to keep him. There was some cries in the Discord, which you can join from the link below in the description if you want to, to say keep him. He's got something about him. He's going to be a decent left winger. So, yeah, I think we're, we're going to give him we're going to give him another chance and see what he can do. So obviously we put him on the transfer list. We accepted an offer from Benfica, but then I cancelled it because of the outcry. But look at all these teams interested as well. So he's clearly got something about him when, you know, there were teams like AC Milan, Man City, uh, Benfica, River Plate, Real Madrid at one point were interested, Tottenham, Chelsea. So he's clearly got something about him, so we'll look to give him a go. But games have happened then. We uh, we we did the last day of the transfer window. where We started with a loss to Wolves, 1-0. We then beat Man City 3-1 in a great performance. Really, really good. Chalky getting two. Norwich beat them 1-0, then lost um, to 3-0 to Tottenham. Bunga getting sent off, and it's sort of cost, his, cost him his place in the team, which is really annoying and really gutting for him. But uh, yeah, that was sort of... So we're only 1-0 down, he got sent off, and then we sort of capitulated in the second half. We came back and beat Fulham 2-1, Osmani getting a double. We also beat Napoli 2-1 in the Europa League, which was good. Chia and Mariba getting the goals, a 90th minute winner for us there. We smashed Everton 5-1. Uh, Charlie Chort getting four in the game, Vincent getting one. They got a man sent off at the 32nd minute, and, well, we really took advantage. And we missed the penalty by Mariba as well, so it could have been more. We beat Nottingham Forest 1-0 in the EFL Cup third round with Mariba scoring a penalty this time, but drew 1-1 with them away from home. Juan Cruz Fernandez made his debut and got us a 90th minute equaliser from a corner, which was good to see. Uh, but today we face Red Star, Belgrade and Derby. You, this season, we're going to go really quickly through this season. There'll be a lot more games offline. We've already done the Europa League once we need to win it so when we get to the knockout stages we'll come back for those games again but um, the focus is winning the Europa League getting into the Champions League spots in the league so that's what we're gonna do so there'll be quite a few games done off camera but we've come back for Red Star the second game in the group stage first game at home and Derby County who find themselves bottom of the table so it should be two wins two home two home games two wins that's what we're looking at Oh, excuse me. That's what we're looking for. Let's get into the first game. We're going to line up like this. So, Ramos in goal. Gunlaugsen, Olave, Gashi and Walter. Vincent, Mariba, Chia, Paolo Cesar, Osmani and Chalk. You'll notice Osmani's now changed to a winger, but he's still not, he's still encouraged to cut inside. Walter's become our first choice left back. He's been very, very good so far. Mariba and Vincent make up the middle two with Camavinga on the bench. Uh, Taylor dropped to the bench. Bunga's dropped to the bench. Fernandez is still our backup striker with Charlie Chalk leading the line. Um, Larea has only played a couple of games, but he's done well when he stepped in. Generally, we're not doing too badly. Fernandez drops down to the bench after he scored the goal, but really, Alabi and Gashi are being uh, becoming a very good partnership. And I, again, I want to get more of these connecting lines so that people understand how to play with each other. And to do that, they've just got to play more games together. So let's get into it then. Red Star Belgrade come to Radnut Park Road. Once Champions League winners, Red Star Belgrade. They've only got one player in their lineup who's real, and that is Felix Pasolak at the age of 35. I'm hoping we could take advantage of his lack of pace. Hopefully Osmani can uh, have a bit of a field day in there. But let's get into this passionately. Let's go and give a performance for the fans, and then assertively we'll say the, uh, the good old faith stuff like that and get into the game, into the tunnel. Assistant can do that. So here we go with kickoff. Um, it should be a very interesting game. So, straight off the bat, we get a throw in deep in their territory. Gunlaugsen into Vincent. Vincent comes forward with it, tackled by Djordovic. And uh, it goes out for another throw in. And, well, nothing comes of that, so thanks, football manager, because you ended a highlight and then came back with a, another one straight away, which is annoying. But, yeah, we are. We seem to be making progress. The draw with Nottingham Forest was really disappointing, but we'd come off the back of quite a, a big run of fixtures as uh, Gunlaugsen lays that back to Vincent. Vincent shoots, it's taken a deflection, but it's gone in, and it's given to Vincent, and within four minutes, we find ourselves 1-0 up. It's the first shot on target in the game, and uh, yeah, very nice indeed. Gunlaugsen kept going all the way. 
just stopped, cut it back to Vincent, who just had all the time in the world and picked his spot. Yeah, it took a, a deflection. Keeper should have saved it. But yeah, it goes in. The deflection dumbfounds him, and it's 1-0 Folkestone. Djordovic into Dmitrievich, as uh, Red Star aren't, obviously aren't the force they once were, but we beat Napoli, who uh, also looks like they're losing to Carabag as well in the cup, uh, in the competition, as Paolo Cesar picks up the loose ball. We need, basically, we could be in a lot of issues if Charlie Chalk gets injured, because Fernandez has played a couple of games and not really performed We've got Robbins, the youngster, the English youngster. There's Mariba's under that one. It's saved, and Stavanovic holds on to it. But, yeah, we're, we're starting to really dominate the games we should be dominating. It's just that when we... Because we play such an intense, high-press system, we, uh, we can, in some games, run out of steam. And it's when we do, like, a Monday-Wednesday or a Sunday-Wednesday-Saturday sort of fixtures, that's when it's normally the... This, the third game of those is when we run out of a bit of steam. So we're probably going to have to utilise squad depth a bit more. As cheers at the back post should do better. Stavanovic with a good save again. And we've gone more narrow in our system, which is why we now utilise two wingers to try and give us that little bit of width. But you'll notice that most of the play is a bit like this. Running at the defence, trying to win fouls. It comes back to Mariba. Mariba! Oh, what a goal. What a goal from Reaxi Mariba. Still a world-class midfielder for us. He has made such a huge difference since he's been brought in. And uh, it's a wonderful goal for his third of the season as Vincent came forward. He's absolutely belted this. Vincent lays it in and it's touch and then hit. And it's just, even in slow-mo, it's hit so fast and powerfully. 15 minutes in, 2-0 up. Wonderful stuff. And again, another highlight. This is now the 20th minute mark. Are we going to get a very quick double fire as uh, Mariba into Palo Cesar. Chia back across to Walter. Walter. In he goes. Vincent. Chia. Why didn't Vincent shoot? He flicked it onto Chia. Gunlaugsen is tackled and it's a corner. A goal kick even. Uh, so he must have got a double deflection. But yeah, very good start to the Europa League from us. Beating Napoli was very good. Uh, but I thought we'd come back for a home game as Chia's got to square that. Surely goes on his own. Great save from Stavanovic as Osmani picks the ball up. Goes back to Walter. Now, and the European window has closed. And we did manage to hold on to all of our players. We had a couple of bids in for some of them, but uh, all rejected because they didn't pay the release fee. Asmani should score, really. Should score. So a corner. Vincent, 23 minutes in, fires it in, headed away. Gashi's there to keep it alive. Vincent, ball across. Charlie Chalk on the head. Seventh goal of the season. Lovely assist by Vincent. And uh, this is a battering. 12 shots to their one as Vincent fires it in with our nice yellow buildings there at the back of the corner. Gashi. Out to Vincent, first time cross, and Charlie Chalk with a lovely header. Keeper should do better again, but I'm not complaining. Three nil. So yeah, we've tweaked the tactic a little bit. We've we've as I always do throughout the season. We just adjust little things here and there, and this is a little bit more of a focus on playing narrower and allowing the fullbacks to get forward. And I think that has really helped us. Gunlaugsen, by the way, all those doubters of the 93 million. Gunlaugsen. Has been absolutely superb this season. His only issue, as he gives away a free kick, as I'm talking about him, his only issue is his injury susceptibility. Which So we're trying to ease him into the games and stuff. So Palacero, oh, Cesar, Gashi on the rebound. It's 4-0 before half-time. What a performance we are putting in here for the home fans in the Europa League. As Paolo Cesar hit the, uh, it was a good save actually, I thought he hit the post, but Gashi reacts first. The wonder kid centre-back, who's also progressing really well. It's, it's game over. It's game over at half-time. We may rest some people, to be honest, because we need to keep them fit for the uh, for the games in the Premier League as well. As Marnie comes forward down the left, beats his man really easily. Still going. Cross it in. Charlie Chalk. Vincent. Oh, he's got an open goal and he's missed. An open goal and he's missed it. I think we'll actually do... Uh, we'll give Bruno Fernandes the whole second half. See if he can find his goal-scoring boots again as Vincent... Picks up the ball. Mariba. Back to Vincent. Mariba again. We're just working it around. Chia. Mariba shot. Chia again. Stavanovic with the save. And that should see us through the half time. Or maybe not. Paolo Cesar. Free kick. In it goes. Olab. Olabi. 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 He may need a nickname. Oh, we've picked... Gav Gavlinovic for them has picked up an injury. And Gashi for us. So uh, we could be bringing on two subs at half time. Just to freshen it up. As Paolo Cesar. Turns with the ball. Surely now this is just going to be half-time. Vincent out to Chia. Chia comes forward with it into the box. Chia's still going. Cuts it back. Osmani Stavanovic with a good header. A good save. Good header. It was a good header from Osmani. 
good save from Stevanovic. As he goes long, and surely the ref's got to blow the whistle soon. We've played 48 minutes, 48 and a half minutes, when there was only two minutes suggested. Osmani with another header. Stevanovic with an easy, easy save. And it is half time, just like that. 4 0 up. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll give rest we'll give Gashi a rest. Passionately. Very pleased with that performance. Uh yeah, 50%. Gashi off will actually play Fernandez in that role, who is He's got all the stats to be a superb centre-back, so I've got no issues bringing in on. Osmani's tired, which doesn't really make sense, but we're going to do that. So we leave Charlie Chalk on. If you haven't watched my five top tips video, there will be a link in the top corner. Um, go and watch it. That's another reason why I've left Charlie Chalk on, because he's performing really, really well, and that is one of my top tips. Never take off your highest performing players unless you know you're easily going to win, which we probably are in this case, but I'd rather keep him on as cheer. He's looking to turn. It's a, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. I want Bruno Fernandes to take it. Bruno. Confirm play. Now it should give it to Bruno. We just need him to f to find his goal scoring feet as the referee goes over. Has a little look at the monitor. Penalty. As they always say, they always give a penalty. Bruno wearing the new number 18 because he's lost the number 9 and number 10. Bruno Fernandes fires it in. Hopefully that like gets his season going there was no way the goalkeeper was going to get to that so it must have gone pretty much uh, into the roof of the net or something it didn't look like the best penalty oh yeah it's a good penalty it's a very good penalty but outstanding five i've just pressed him more <laughs> at least paolo says oh, i've got focused by it i mean i'd be pissed off if we're fighting it up and my manager is like come on we can get more cheer gun laugson we're, we're just keeping the ball so well alabe all the way back to ramos 69% possession, two clear-cut chances, three half chances. Find ourselves 5-0 up. Unbelievable stuff. Mariba. Oh, it goes to Walter. Walter on the left-hand side. Ball across. Dimitrievich gets it away. Gunlaugsen. Ball in. Looking for Bruno. It's headed away. Paolo Cesar keeps it alive. Gunlaugsen. Bruno Cesar. Shot from range. Easy for Stevanovic. The highlights are just absolutely relentless. Walter comes forward with it. Still going. Cuts all the way across the pitch, really. The left back. Into Vincent. Vincent, is uh, his cross is blocked. And it's a race between him and Sakic. And Vincent wins it. Charlie Chalk now playing on this left-hand side. Comes forward with it. Still going, Charlie Chalk. Still going into the box. And we'll, uh, well, we get it back from Charlie Chalk again. Paolo Cesar. Moriba. Moriba comes forward with it. Edge of the box. Charlie Chalk. Paolo Cesar. Oh, what a finish into the top corner. He gets his first goal of the season as well. And we are cooking on gas right now. This is an unbelievable performance. What a finish. This is like from Paolo Cesar. Banger. An absolute banger. Mariba into chalk. Laid it off to Paolo Cesar. One touch and then bosh. Unbelievable finish. If we can play like this in the league. Well, I've done it again. I've pressed Demar more again. Derby are in for an, a world of pain if we can play like this in the Premier League. Paolo says, oh, Vincent can't get there. Vavrik gets it away up to Gavrilovic. Gavrilovic skins his man and is, uh, well, he's got no support in the middle, really. And uh, there, well, there is a man there and Slepovic just sort of snuck in at the back post and that's 6-1. Not the best. I'll press the right button this time and go for a praise. There we go. Everybody looks happier with a bit of praise. Vincent over the corner, fires it in. Vukubrat gets it away. Olabe, ball back in. Vavrik with a header. Fernandez picks it up. Paolo Cesar. Chalk. Moriba. You can see we've got this space on the wings. And there we go. It's gone out to Chia on this side. Chia whips across in. Easy for Stevanovic. And we have one sub left with half an hour to go. We're probably not going to use it just yet. As uh, Chia comes down the right hand side. It's still carried on from the same highlight, to be honest. Moriba. Mariba into Chalk. Charlie Chalk, good save from Stevanovic, and it'll be another corner. And it'll be Vincent to swing the corner in. And it goes, Charlie Chalk flicks it on, but no one can get there. Yeah, 6-1, and what's that, 28 minutes to go. Charlie Chalk's robbed the ball in his own half. Great ball over the top to Bruno Fernandes. What is he doing? Just shoot, Bruno. Just shoot. Come on, if we can get your confidence up. We need a backup striker firing on all cylinders. Cheer. Ball in. Link for Charlie Chalk again, and it's uh, headed into the arms of Stevanovic. 15 minutes to go. We're going to make our third and final substitution. Uh, we're actually going to bring on... Let's bring on Camavinga for a game. Mariba's had a superb game uh, in there. Getting a goal as well. But Camavinga will give him a run out. His first taste of Europa League football for folks in a victor. Paolo Cesar. Oh, he scored the harder chance over here. That one was closer and he missed. But there we go. World-class midfielder off. An elite midfielder coming on. That's 
Not a bad situation when you can do that. Walter, ball in, Camavinga. First involvement, lays it back. Paolo Cesar curls it past the post. Nearly an immediate assist for Camavinga. Corner again, Vincent to swing it in. And it's headed away. Paolo Cesar will keep it alive. The number 17 for Folkestone. Into Alabe. Camavinga. Back to Alabe. Alabe to Fernandez. Into Walter. Up to Chalk. We just keep the ball so well. Walter. In again. Walter to the byline. And he's tackled by Jovcic really well. Clears it away. Fernandez will pick that one up. Just over five minutes left to go. And it looks like the first game of this episode is going to be a monumental win in Europe. At home, which is good. Chalk, Camavinga, great ball to pick Walter out. Walter, cross it in. Fernand, Bruno Fernandes! He's got his second of the season, his second of the game. And Bruno Fernandes is hopefully now stepping up. If we can get him back to that level of his first season at the club, that would be ridiculous. Lovely ball from Camavinga to pick out Walter. And he gets down all the way in, dinks it across. Easy header for Bruno. But he, he did what he had to and he made sure it ended in a goal. So into the final minute of the game as they've lost uh, their striker, Gavlarovic has gone off injured and they've used all their subs. So they go to a 4-3-1-1 as uh, Gunlaugsen comes forward down the right-hand side. Are we going to get one more just for good measure? Puts it in. Paolo Cesar, Charlie Chalk, saved by Stevanovic. And uh, there we go. 7-1 win. That's going to be what a performance from the boys. Now they'll get a day's rest after this from training. And they can go out there and just... Pff, hopefully re redo something like this reproduce this sort of performance uh, against derby would be absolutely wonderful and if you're a season ticket and you got these two games coming up look at 41 shots 26 on target unbelievable stuff man of the match went to jordan vincent on a 9.4 9.3 9.3 yeah good ratings all round passionately i'm absolutely delighted with that so we'll be back for the derby game unless there's any big news to go through uh, seven heaven for Folkestone. Gashu's out for three to four weeks. There's not too much of a blow. We have got very good centre-backs at the club as Vincent. Key passes three, assists two. Your passing was a joy to behold. Well done as Jardin is looking over Ramos, Alabe and Mariba for his next Spain squad. But yeah, we'll be back for the game against Derby in three days' time. So we're back for game day against Derby County. Seventh take on 20th. But interestingly, fourth take on sixth in Tottenham and Liverpool, which could open up a little gap for us to try and sneak into if uh you know if they if they if liverpool win and we win it closes the gap on the top four which is the aim for this season um it's not been the best of starts for us but everybody has lost at least one apart from chelsea who have drawn two so it's going to be close and i've really got a feeling that this year could be a very good year for us we've bolstered the team really well we've got a goal scorer in charlie chalk up front we just need to make it happen so uh, obviously, we're going into the game with a very similar starting lineup. We've just made the one change. Fernandez comes in to replace the injured um, Gashi down there, as you can see. But uh, other than that, we're going to play exactly the same and hopefully get a very, very similar result as Fernandez is a little bit not fit enough for the match, but he's going to have a good run of games now. So we'll see how we get on. They're lining up very narrow, which should suit our overlapping, our, well, should suit our wingers and overlapping fullbacks getting forward. They have one regular normal person in goal, Gavin Bazunu, who I've uh, not really heard of. Signed from Man City, who had him at the beginning of the game, or they bought him from Shamrock Rovers. Yeah, then he's, he's there. So, okay, interesting. Interesting. But uh, we'll see how he gets on. But. Let's get into it then. I definitely, definitely want you to go and carry on straight from where you finished off last time. That was a magnificent performance against Red Star Belgrade. So let's get into the game. And uh, yeah, well, we, well, let's hopefully go and absolutely batter them. We'll keep an eye on the table and hopefully we can move up a position or two after this game. So again, inside three or four minutes, we have our first highlight. Paolo Cesar looks to knock it past. The Derby defence, but can't get on the end of it. Little is going to be beaten to the ball by Fernandez. Walter, all the way back to Ramos, which we don't mind. We honestly don't mind doing that. It keeps the possession, allows us to uh, build up the ball. Osman, a great first touch. In it goes, looking for Charlie Chalk, lays it off. Cheers in. Oh, and he's ballooned it over the bar. He's ballooned it, absolutely. Well, high and wide, not a very good finish. Osmani, Moriba. You can see, look at Walter go. He's naturally attacking anyway. And uh, he comes forward, beats one, lays it off to Chalk. Chalk's into the area. Good save from Bazuno. And it's a very, very positive start. And those the spaces in these wings here is definitely where our uh, attacking fullbacks 
are getting some joy as Miguel has picked up an injury. So we're just waiting for the physio to <sighs> run on the pitch and do his thing or her thing. It could be a her as well. Going to cut here. Let Miguel walk off. Okay, he's off the pitch. So Vincent can take the corner. In it goes. Charlie Chalk. It wasn't worth waiting for. It's a, it's a header straight into the arms of Bazuna. Throw in. Walter into Mariba, who's came short. Walter picks it back up again. Mariba. Mariba on the edge of the box. Mariba still going. Mariba tries to curl one. And Bazuna, I shouldn't have clicked on him before the game. Because now he's having an absolute blinder. An absolute blinder. I just I don't care how we do it. I just want to sneak into the top four. That's all it is. I mean, you look at that. Man United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City are all really good. Tottenham and Everton are better than us. Although we did beat Everton 5-1. But uh, they are better than us, so it's going to be tough. But I just feel like we need to make that next step because a lot of the press releases you get, so like when players aren't selected in a national team, a lot of the press releases you get are like, oh, you know, it's it's rumoured that the manager wants him to step up to a bigger club before he can do it, which means our reputation isn't quite where we want it to be. Obviously, we want that five-star world reputation. As uh, that goes in, header cleared away, and Moram just hoofs it. Good first touch from Kunlaugsen. He's going to try and run into that space. Vincent. Vincent comes forward with it. On the edge of the box. Tackled though. Little. Fun. Oh my god. How have we scored that? Mariba has just tackled someone. And then we've scored from it. I don't quite know how. But Mariba is, looks like he's stepping up this season. And that 50 million signing from last year looks incredible. Little sort of dallied on the ball. Mariba. Yeah, he just shot. It's just like a tackle shot. Which is... People ask me why I don't like the 3D match engine. Because stuff like that doesn't happen in real life. That's why. Chalk heads it back across over the bar. It's uh, it's a good first 20 minutes. Absolute domination from us. And uh, that is wonderful to see. Paolo says, oh, fires it in. It's bouncing around. And Olabi gets his first goal for the club as well. The centre-back's there. It's an assist from Chris Chalk. Miguel came. He missed the interception. And uh, Invicta make him pay. So we'll see it here in a bit more slow-mo. Cesar fires it in. The keeper misses it. Miguel misses it. And then Olabe just is like looking at the goalkeeper and is like, there you go, mate. Stick that in an empty net. 2-0 in the half an hour mark. Lovely stuff. Paolo Cesar over a free kick into the wall. Osmani picks it up. He looks to go the long way around. Tries to put a cross in, but it's blocked. Moliba can't get there ahead of Fester. Ricky. Oh, well, that, that ended sharpish, didn't it? Gunlaugsen comes forward into Chia. Chia back to Gunlaugsen and oh, just couldn't get through. Now, there should be gaps on these wings. There we go. Look at that. Right to left. Osmani. Osmani beats his man into the box. Osmani shoots. Bazuna having a good game. Touches it around the post. And look at this. If it stays as it is, we're just a point off the top four. Four points off second. Is this going to be the season we do something really good? Really, really good. If we can just beat the likes of Man United. If we can take points off Man United and Chelsea, I will be absolutely delighted. Vincent. Ball in. Chia header header. Good save from Razuna, and again, it's absolute domination at Radnor Park Road, and we need to make this place a fortress. Miguel, out to Uncle Festa. Festa, oh, I thought I was going to say, I was about to say robbed by Mariba, but he wasn't. He got round the tackle. Good header from Alabe. Heads it out wide. I don't mind that it fell to their player. Chia robs him into Paolo Cesar. We look to counter. Paolo Cesar, Charlie Chalk didn't make a run there. That was a prime opportunity. Gets to the byline. Crosses, and Osmani beaten in the air by Festa and Miguel. Hang on, what's going on here? Is it a penalty? I think it is a penalty. It is a penalty. As uh, Miguel has got injured in making that foul as well. And Mariba gets his goal a second of the game, in fact. 3-0. Unbelievable. It's just, what's that? That's 10 goals in nearly three halves of football. That is ridiculous. Mariba in it, fires it in. I, I, I guess it would be better to say three quarters. Three quarters of football. Three quarters of football? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, we're 3-0 up. Let's just enjoy that fact. Not try and do maths. This isn't a math channel. So, half-time comes 3-0 up. Lovely, lovely stuff. I am very happy. And I'm not going to say anything else. Uh, we've got Walter on a little bit of a knock, but he doesn't have an injury symbol next to him. Um, and I forgot to put what's his name on the bench, which means Medina would come on. So, we'll give him a little bit longer and see if he starts to recover. But 3-0 up at half-time... Absolute domination again. We've hit the composite once. Um, half chances one, clear cut chances three. Basically, we've scored all our clear cut chances, which is good, as uh, that's a free kick given away by Osmani. But at the start of the second half, I am delighted. Yeah, so I'm going to make the decision. Walter isn't. Um, yeah, he's got a thigh injury and he's not really recovering from it. So we are going to pop Medina on that left back position, which isn't ideal. It's not ideal. I'm just wondering if Fernandez. 
He is left footed. So I'm going to do that, I think, because Fernandez is a bit more of a natural attacker. Um, he's playing well already, so I think we'll move him out there uh, and go for that, and then we'll see how this goes. We might bring on, again, 3 0 up. I'm considering him bringing on uh, Fernandez to see if he can keep his goal scoring up because we need to get him in that rhythm of getting goals back. And I do agree with what Ross said in the. I read every single comment, by the way. I read and reply to every single comment that's left. So if you want to leave one, that would be great. And if you're liking, if you enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. Fernandez on the left is tackled by Fester. Um, I'm just thinking, you know, we need to try and keep Fernandez going. And Ross said in the comments, you know, give Fernandez six more months. And if he doesn't improve, great save from Ramos. So if he doesn't improve, then look to sell him. Um, and I think that is a, a pretty good plan, to be honest. Simpson over the corner, fires it in. Juncker headed, but uh, beaten in the air by Olabi. And Paolo Cesar will look to come forward with it. Still going. Paolo Cesar has performed brilliantly in attacking midfield, to be honest, this season. Paolo Cesar, Miguel still on the pitch after getting pretty much two injuries. Cheers having a bit of a poor game. So we're going to do similar to what we did last time. We're actually going to push Chalk with his versatility out onto the wing and then bring on Fernandez up top. Uh, we'll give him a bit more praise because we're 3-0 up. We are pushing up into fifth now. Oh, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting. It really is. I think Tottenham must have beaten Liverpool in the earlier game. There's uh, not too long left to go. Paolo Cesar puts a ball in and it's headed away. Charlie Chalk will keep it alive. Ball back across and Malongo gets it away. Maram. Maram comes forward with it down the left. He's still going. We need to go and pressure him at some point. Moran, ball into the box. Little with the header over the bar. Uh, well, Ramos made the save. Corner. And it'll be Simpson to fire it in for Derby. And he does. Ricky with the header over the bar that time. And, uh, yeah, 14 minutes to go. It's pretty much in the bag, I think. I'm pretty sh confident we're going to get this. We're going to get this win being 3-0 up at home with 8 minutes to go. Vincent out to Chalk. Into Gunlaugsen. Gunlaugsen comes forward down the right-hand side. Beats one. He's still going. Puts a cross into Paolo Cesar. Knocks it onto Fernandez, the auxiliary left back. Ball back across. It falls all the way to Charlie Chalk and Bazuna makes a good save. We're going to get our third and final sub on the pitch now. And we will do... Who do we want to bring on? Let's bring on uh, James Taylor. Because if, if you need him, he'll be there. You've always got a friend in him. So we'll bring him on for the final five minutes of this game. As uh, Paolo Cesar can definitely take the plaudits for his performances in the last two games but yeah it looks like 10 goals in this episode we are goal scoring machines it looks like we don't need to address anything i'm gonna say very pleased i don't know why you wouldn't address that a 3-0 win in the league is always very welcome up into fifth as well one point off third and fourth four points off second and five points off top as I said, is, let me know down below. Is this going to be the season that we do something very special in this game? As Mariba was uh, very good in front of goal for getting two goals, which was good. We'll look at the schedule. As I said, I'm going to fly through quite a few games. I think we'll actually come back. See, that's not enough for me. I don't think that's enough games offline. I want to get through this season. I'd love to come back for Chelsea and Liverpool, but I think we'll actually come back for... Um, Maybe oh, maybe Liverpool and Napoli then. Yeah, okay, we'll come back for Liverpool and Napoli in a way in a home game. Um, and we'll come back there. Because that also should see us through the group as well. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you to the patrons. Thank you to the club members that are on. You come and find me on Twitch. I stream Football Manager pretty much every... No, I stream Football Manager Monday, Tuesday and Friday. Uh, on twitch.tv forward slash cultured underscore left underscore foot. The link is in the description below. Give me a follow. And we go into the game in a bit more detail and a bit more depth. Uh, go and check out my top five tip video that is linked in the top corner up there. Just click on the little eye. And uh, thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.